The first movie I saw was Smiley Face. This is the ultimate stoner movie and I highly recommend that you watch this among stone friends for the best experience possible. I've always loved Anna Faris in comedic roles and she does a wonderful job here portraying a harmless stoner that just wants to relax but gets tangled in all these situations that one definitely doesn't want to be in when they're high. It's a great time and definitely an underrated movie in my opinion. I gave Smiley Face a 4 out of 5. Next I saw Everything Everywhere All at Once. This is a movie whose emotional themes and all its sentimentality didn't really resonate with me as much as I thought it would. But despite that, the movie's technical mastery and the way it weaves different scenes together was enough to keep me thoroughly engaged. The movie is fairly long but manages to maintain its breakneck pace throughout the entirety of the runtime. There wasn't a single moment throughout this movie where I wasn't engaged. It's the perfect blend of sentimentality and goofiness that I love to see when it's juggled in movies. When it's done well, it results in something special and that's definitely what this movie is. I recommend pretty much everybody should give this movie a try. I gave it a 4 out of 5. Next I saw La Haine. I think this is my 7th rewatch of La Haine. I always come back to this movie after every few months and it still continues to resonate with me as much as the first time I saw it. Not only does it feature hard-hitting social and political themes like inequality, poverty and immigration, but it also manages to suck you in and get attached to these very real and complex characters. Many of them act foolishly or childishly, but you can fully understand and empathize with all the frustration and anger that just emanates from their faces. Not to mention that the three main actors have incredible chemistry and the way they play off of one another really does a great job of immersing you in their shoes. Definitely, definitely check this movie out at least once in your life. Uh, La Hain is one of my favorite movies of all time and I gave it a 5 out of 5 the first time I saw it and it still remains a 5 out of 5 for me to this day. Next I saw Knives Out for the second time. The first time I saw it I really appreciated the story and the way everything was set up. Um, but now upon a secondary watch, now that I knew where the story was going, I was able to sit back and just enjoy the performances that were on display from this great ensemble of actors portraying these really wonderful, wonderfully colorful and mischievous characters. Daniel Craig is especially a treat to watch as a calm and introspective legendary southern detective. I also felt a lot more emotional upon this rewatch since the social themes of immigration and the working class that crop up throughout the film were a lot more noticeable for me upon a secondary watch. I definitely recommend everyone check this out. You're gonna get a lot of entertainment out of it no matter who you are. Um, I gave Knives out a 4 out of 5. Next I saw Jackie Chan My Stunts. This really isn't a movie but I figured I'd put it in here since I had a fun time watching it. It's essentially a documentary where Jackie Chan goes around his sets and shows you how he crafts his stunts and performs them. You get to see him talk a lot about how different frugal techniques were pioneered on sets in Singapore because they didn't have the funds that Hollywood had to, you know, construct their action scenes. Overall, it's a fun and informative look into how much work goes into these stunts and the amount of preparation that's required and what the thought process is when you're trying to create them. You also get to see Jackie's stunt school where his stunt team trains constantly and uses different props to come up with ideas for scenes that could be used in future movies. Overall, I wouldn't recommend this to everybody, but if you're a big martial arts or a big Jackie Chan fan, uh, this is definitely worth a watch for you. I gave it a three out of five. And the last movie I saw was Hardcore Henry. I'd always heard that this movie is pretty much a video game that you can't play, and that's pretty accurate. You get the most video gamey experience out of this movie right down to the fact that all the characters you encounter feel like NPCs too, spouting exposition at you as you go from one chaotic situation to the next. If you're someone that's prone to motion sickness, this movie might be a bit much for you, but for me, I had an absolute blast. This brought me back to the old days of video games where you had fun single player FPS games with albeit bad storylines, but storylines nonetheless. My letterbox review for this movie reads, I felt like I was 14 again and that's literally all I wanted from this experience. And that's really all I can tell you as well. This isn't high art by any means, but it's definitely a fun as hell time. And if you're looking for fast paced action and fun choreographed scenes of chaos, then definitely give this one a shot. I gave Hardcore Henry a 4 out of 5.